Hi campers, greetings from Tsenze Rustic Camp, about seven kilometers south of Mupani. This is the Tenze entrance gates. We're going to take you through a bit of a walk through this campsite, which is highly sought after. Took me about eight months of advanced booking before I could find the site here. So be warned, if you want to book your planet well in advance and um, extremely, extremely uh, peaceful camp, very quiet, only 50 sites. It will be quite a long video. The reason being is that this campsite is uh, allocates a campsite to you. And for that reason, people are really particular over which campsites they want. Some are perimeter fence facing. My apologies, we had a car coming in and it would just be the courteous thing to open for them while I'm at the gate. So while we're on that point, this camp is totally unmanned except for Roger and Elena who takes care of the site. If you get to the gate, you should open it yourself and please make sure to close it yourself. You are in the middle of the bush and it is for not only for your safety but for everyone's safety to keep animals out. We just had a major um, lot of elephants pass right by the fence here. So you can imagine if this gate is open and they come inside the camp, it would be total havoc. Um, whilst we're here, there is a perimeter walking trail that goes all the way around the campsite, obviously inside the fence. The camp layout is effectively one circle road this side, one circle road on the other side and both feed into this main road. So as I was mentioning earlier, these sites are allocated to you when you make a booking. If you want a specific site, you have to phone ahead of time to Mupani reception, ask if that site is open for your intended days and then if it is, make your booking immediately, otherwise it will be taken. Um, you are in the middle of the bush, so Rules are whenever you make a fire, make sure you extinguish it before you go to bed or after you've had your braai. Noise is kept to an absolute minimum here. So children, for example, is expected to remain on their campsites with their parents. And you'll see the signage here. No bicycles allowed. Obviously no generators allowed. And uh, it is a... They call it a rustic camp, but it's really a nature camp. The idea is to be as close to nature as you possibly can. So we're entering into the, call it the first circle. There will be a link to the campsite uh, um, map. This is camp number one to the right. Not my favorites, it's obviously right next to the road. Campsite number two. And one of my personal favorites, although it's a bit close to the road, it's just really nice and spacious as a campsite and it sits right on the fence. This is campsite number three. What I also love about it is that is east and that is west where the sun is sitting now. So this site is totally protected from afternoon sun. On that note, once again, there's no electricity here. If you're going to be camping here, you have to know that you are on solar power and you need to bring your own equipment, obviously, and be prepared for that. So make sure that you come prepared and that your solar system is checked and double checked and triple checked. Because if you come here and you don't have a working solar system, you're going to be in trouble. As far as water is concerned, taps, there's no ta taps on the campsites. There's a couple of taps around the circle road that is the restrooms actually while we're here let me show you that
Okay, so that was the restrooms. There were some people in there, so I had to few, make a few edits and cut it out for privacy purposes. But you've got two outdoor showers, uh, four indoor showers, two toilets and four basins. Raja and Elina keeps it in really good check. So yeah, absolutely stunning. Uh, hot water is by gas and lights are by solar in the restrooms. So make sure that when you leave, you switch the lights off to save the solar electricity for all everyone else's sake. This is side number four to the right. Not perimeter facing, but also nice and private. Nobody right next to you. Circular road continues this way. If you are in a group of three campers, I think campsite five, campsite six, and campsite seven is ideal for you. Reason being is this all sits in one circle. Campsite five and six is on the fence. Campsite seven is over here. So you can make a nice little group for yourself there. Campsite eight. Also not perimeter fenced. Campsite 9. There's tap number 2. Tap number 1 was down there. So make sure if you come that you fill up your 4x4 camper so that you have sufficient water or alternatively you have a long enough hose which would need to be at least 50 meters long to get you to the majority of, of campsites to fill your van. This is campsite number 10. Campsite number 11. There's the path to the bathrooms from this side. Campsite number 16, also not perimeter fenced. Another group of sites here to the left. I can't see the signage, but I'll indicate it later on the subscript on what number that is. And then another one here. The nice one about this side, I'll indicate what the number is, but it's got a direct access path to the fence. Um, so yeah, just nice and convenient and private also. While we here, I'll show you the communal camp kitchen. As I mentioned, there's two circular roads or sections of this camp. Uh, the bathrooms and the camp kitchens sit in the middle of each circular road. They look identical. So, yeah. Washing up facilities here. gas stoves on the side. Okay, and then on to campsite 17 to 24. 
which is the last site on the, call it the first circle. So this should be 17 if I'm correct. I'll double check it on the map and that's just indicated as I edit the video. This is 18. Backs up onto the site behind it. I'll indicate that number which it backs onto also. Nice one down here. Nice big and private. Once again, I can't see a sign number, so I'll double check that for you. Okay, now we're entering the second circle. So this is sites number 21 to 24, 21 to 34 sits up against the fence on that side because we're now on the back end of the park. This is the second block of ablutions. And now we're getting to the sites which I prefer the best. Reason being they are facing the fence. They are mostly shaded from afternoon sun. And yeah, they're away from the main gate so you don't get any of that traffic going through. So anything to the right here I'll indicate the numbers. I think it's prime, prime sites. That's number 26. Nice big tree down here. Everyone's coming back from the afternoon game drives now. Now the second camp kitchen to the to the left here, next to the ablutions. Campsite number 29, also a really nice one. This one I find particularly interesting, depending on the size of your van. This is site number 30, 30. And uh, yeah, I just like it because it's surrounded by trees and also sits right up against the fence there. There's quite a bit of wildlife traversing the fences at night. As you could see with the start of the video, there was water buck. Ten minutes before that, we had a big herd of elephants cross right by the fence at night. Hyenas, jackal, all sorts of animals going around. This is side number 31, 31. Site number 33. And then we are back on, call it the main access road. Just for navigational purposes, that is the communal kitchen. Call it number one in the first circle. The one behind it is the ablutions. And site number 34. A lot of traffic obviously passing here because you're on the intersection. That's the intersection where circle one is there, circle two is there. So all the traffic is coming past you. Personally, I'm not a fan. But if cars crossing the whole time doesn't bug you, it should be fine. 
Okay guys, so that's it for Tenze Rustic Camp. As I said, I, we will definitely be back. Much prefer this to, to be honest, any other campsite in the Kruger. Uh, but there are strict rules to be followed and things to consider. Just to run past those again, low noise area, no making a noise, keep it as quiet as possible, extinguish your fires, make sure your hoses are long enough, or fill up your water tanks before parking your caravan. If I say long enough, a hose would need to be at least 40 to 50 meters long to get to any campsite from a tap. Um, and no electricity, but an amazing sight. Mupani's a 10 minute drive away, call it a 15 minute drive. It's got a shop and everything there. You can have a look at the link of the Mupani campsite in the description of this video. Map of Tenza campsite will be in the description of the video. And as always, if you have any questions, please comment, like, subscribe, so we can keep in touch and keep you in the loop with new videos we make and new campsites we review. And if you have anything to add, please feel free to do so in the comments. Happy camping!